set one, two. In Coke Studio Philippines, this is the first time we're going to have an inside look on how your favorite artists make their music. Check, one, two, one, two, get it on. Uh. All different ways of doing things and recording and making songs. Doesn't always work, but when it does, it's magic. Every week, we bring together some of the country's biggest OPM acts to create the freshest new music. This is Coke Studio Philippines. Coke Studio Philippines gathered 14 different artists and groups, paired them into twos, and then they will collaborate on some music. May palitan, where they're going to do a cover of each other's songs. And then collaborate on one song. This is the first time we're going to be working with them in one studio. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen. It's either we're going to come up with really good music or... Uh, we'll get fired. Yes. <laughs> You're going to get... A lot of weird things. Yeah, yeah. And we're very excited about weird things. Well, of course, I'm excited, uh, you know, uh, to work with Raymond Marasigan and Paddy Zabala. Because they're from Razorheads, the legendary band. We've been working together for a very long time, uh, two weeks. No, it was, no, it's more like three. Three, yeah, three. about three weeks. <laughs> Our job as producers is to get out of the way and just get everybody to perform in their best. Well, let's try that, no? Let's try it. Try something new, try a different mix. So once in a while, you're just uncomfortable enough but excited enough to see what's going to happen. Sige, all right. Wow, Noel Cabangon is an institution. Incredibly gifted songwriter and he's a, he's a wonderful performer. Always gets, gets the crowd. I didn't know much about Noel before meeting him, so I looked him up on Spotify and on YouTube, and it was very interesting to see that he had such a variety of sounds that you could pull from. Noel, what's up, Noel? Nice you? to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. When I searched uh, YouTube about him and uh, Sabiko rapper, pala. Curtis Smith. That you like to coast with me and go local, ripping from the Philippines. His sound is new and it's fresh. Nakita namin siya live, that's, wow, this kid is good. He, he can rap over 86 BPM. <laughs> wow. I was thinking maybe we could do a contrast of like, because uh, I lost my dad when I was 16. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there were times in my life where I was always wishing that there was somebody who could give me the advice that I needed to become the man that I wanted to be. Sure, sure. I can be your dad. He'll be my son. Awesome. I've been in a, a state where I've been trying to figure out what it means to grow up, to be a man. My verses hopefully capture the anxieties that a kid my age would experience. I have a son. Oh, how old uh, is he? Then? Like your age. Does he make music also? Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think this this whole concept of, of Coke Studio is a very good uh, venue in, in promoting yeah, Filipino yeah. music because when you talk of Filipino music, it's not just one genre or one uh, topic. Uh, it's not only about love songs, uh, how sentimental Filipinos are, but it's uh, more of telling different stories of, of the Filipino people. I'm the youngest one here, I'm the student in the game, and it kind of magnifies my idea that I still have so much to learn. For me, it was a, a challenge. Uh, I'm going to collaborate with him, uh, being him a rapper and then a folk singer. So parang it is very odd, no? Na, ang layo ng genre namin. Okay, last in the agenda is the collab. The collab, yeah. the collab. Because we were figuring out kami ni Ibadi parang what would be their intersection because musically they don't really intersect a lot. But what we figured out while talking to them is pareho yung soul nila. Si, si Curtis has like some sort of old soul. Tapos si Noel, parang bata parati si Noel eh. So yeah, parang so, so, dun sila. Noel has always remained young that way. Pa. The concept of Coke Studio is really just an experiment. It is trying to push forward the local scene of Filipino music, and hopefully it takes us places further than where we are. And hold you, we speak out, it's all truth and win now when a situation where people doubt that it's old news. Sound like that. We'll work on the arrangement, and you guys work on the lyrics. Let's go! All right, Let's get to work! Woo. Good job, guys. <laughs>
Today in Coke Studio, it's cover day. Hey, this is gonna be fun. Noel wanted to do a cover of Curtis Smith's Just Chillin' without the T and without the G. I uh, recorded, actually, a lot of covers. But this one is really different because it's another interpretation of the song, and it's veering away from its original form and style. And it's really a chill song, supposed to be, but if you're going to read the lyrics, it's, it's profound. And it was just really my trying to capture that point in time in my life. The big ambition to really change an industry. Some of the adjustments that I did, I, I had to cut some of the long lines. Masikip eh. for singing. Sakto siyang syllabications for rapping, but with his melodies, we had to parang adjust things. But it was very minor. <laughs> it's new for us music fans who've known Noel's voice for the longest time. Then all of a sudden, he's singing about swag and flying high and with chilling. the kids and chilling. I'm really a very serious writer, and, but. When I was singing it, it's, you know, I just go with the flow of the song and then, yeah, swag it and whack it. <laughs> Change it. Okay, tayo from the top. Totoong singing na. Shinji Tanaka is our engineer here for the Coke Studio projects. He always has to be there. Shinji Tanaka is uh, Japanese, the way his name sounds like, but he's 100% Filipino. He also knows Bisaya and Samurai. <laughs> What is love for a guy like me? Fly high with a guy like me. Fly kites with the kids I see. My life isn't all for me. I said, baby, you just got me grinning. I'm chilling with a flow so cold. And these ladies try to get it, but they never had a swag so dope. I'm a bastard with a new flocks. No, I ain't passing with these new doors. I'm a new one with a new form in the majors. Cool, calm, but I ain't so from the pages. I'm the realest I have ever been. Open up my eyes like a post of veteran. Hope for more meaning, more life, more money, more nights, more breeze and sunlight. I'm chilling in the clouds, living just a sound. Watch me build an empire straight up from the ground. What is life for a guy like me? Fly high with a guy like me. Fly kites with the kids I see. My life isn't all for me. I say, baby, you just got me grinning. I've been chilling with the flow so cold. And these ladies try to get it, but they never had a swag so dope. <laughs>
Hey, we're back in the Coke studio again. Yeah. So what's our plan for today? Doon Kalungan. Oh, that's a great song. One I was thinking was something more natural, so we used the original instrumental of the song. Now, I've never done a Tagalog song, so I feel like it would have been very forceful to have done the whole thing in Tagalog. And then I recited like spoken word in English, if possible. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do that. I would love to do that yeah. too, yeah. 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 So I was really clueless in the beginning of how to approach Kandungan. And so I decided this morning to ask Noel, what really is it about to you? It talks about a place uh, where uh, we grow up and somehow that place was neglected. So we didn't do anything about it until it's almost gone. It is also a hopeful song because as time passes, there are a lot of opportunities that we can really use in order to bring back the beauty of that place. We were half expecting him to rap the whole time, but he wanted to sing the chorus. And he wanted to do the spoken word bit. There used to be days... I don't like to oversaturate my music with rap. Progress and prosperity. Just, you know, trying to relate it to, to Noel's song. So I'm just trying to find a way to create something new. I'm really singing right now? Like, am I really doing this? When Curtis Smith is singing that chorus of Kandungan, he's not imagining singing it like Noel. He's singing it like himself. There used to be days, or so I've been told, days of progress, peace, and prosperity. Manifested hope in the brink of reality, days of our souls in connection with galaxies, until the white men in boats dip their toes in the sand, teaching us of gold to the civilized man. Yet all I can see is corruption and greed. Pigs and gold fences who talk about peace. Less than a piece for the man with no peace, oh. And all the elites asking what the hell we know. Clinging on to traditions, dogmas, and doctrines. Buying our goals and then selling us coffins. Often I dream of going back to the days of progress and peace from the simpler ways. I climb hills with Napoleon On the road to riches Don't know if it heals the brokenness I was told that we were all gifted With things inside us But people around the eyes and shots We try to hide it Meanwhile I'm rising Cause I owned up to it I took my passions and a step To the unknown foolish And the perspective of the ones Without the same vision Society is left as lacking trust for intuition Not in a mission as purpose like Google You gotta search it, it's futile for all the foolish who talk But don't put work in But I've been working for a few good minutes So while they talk about a dream I just keep on sprinting It's like debt, it's like debt for a kid like me Run it back like I did not leave I come back with a new EP Well somewhere in between The end of 2017 I didn't sleep much last night um, because I was I was worried about the, about, about the song, and so and it's just like uh, this is you know you just go with the flow, just do it. <laughs> hey hey hey, how are you? See you how man? are you? Uh, sometimes I start with the melody, then sometimes I start with the lyrics. But this one is uh, there was this idea, the the theme. I'm excited to hear it, man. Yeah, it's it's so the, the song is it's more of uh, encouraging. It's a it's a positive uh, reinforcement. reinforcement, something like that. Okay. The idea of me as a father or as a friend giving advice to a <laughs> young man, which made it easy for me to write the lyrics. 
was everything that I needed to hear to be able to write what I had to write. I have a little something going yeah. out. Let's hear it. But I'm still feeling so alone. Still feel like a kid and I wonder if it shows. Rapping about my, my dad is a significant thing because it's not really something I was really comfortable talking about. And so to be able to express myself openly to everybody I've been working with and to allow me to use it in the song to really hit home was an experience that you know I, I'm not going to forget. And it, it helps lighten my, like whatever is going on in here. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Something like that. OK. Come on, come on. How are you guys? Raymond and Buddy, this is really our first time to work together. And working with them is really a, uh, a learning process. So if I don't let that in. Final <laughs> 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 It's very easy to work with Noel. He's very comfortable in the studio. Yeah. He knew what he wanted to hear. It didn't take long for us to get a good take. Noel, I think you were right the first time. The Well, I felt a lot of pressure today <laughs> because just seeing them work was masters at work. Like, they've been doing this so long that it's just second nature to them. And so seeing not just one, but four experienced artists in their fields do what they do, do their thing, be in their element, was infectious. He was sitting there mumbling things and writing on his laptop, and apparently he was writing half the song. As Noel was recording, he was reacting on how Noel was feeling. I felt it, you know. It, I think it was very emotional, and there's part of him that is really trying to purge his emotion. It was very honest. And it really jived well with my song. Whew. One more time, please. I can do it better. You want to do it better? Yeah. Our right. job was like to make it not sound like a folk singer on a rap song or a rapper in a folk song. We wanted it to be a song. It was we, a song where... Done by an artist. Yeah, done, done by a, real, a brand new artist. And then when they put everything, wow, and I said, oh, galing. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting the product would be that good. We, at first, we thought it was going to be difficult because of the age gap and the musical tastes. Yeah. But we found out that if you have the same, you know, purpose, you have the same soul, and you give it your best, and then at, in the end, it's all music. They both had the same story to tell. Yes, it's very, very honest. <laughs> okay, Narod, Woon. Bata kapat may pagkakataon Na darating sa buhay mo Hawak mo ang panahon Ikaw ang gagawa ng bukas mo Hanapin mo kung ano ang nais mo Sundan mo Bawat daan ay mapangalip Huwag kang susuko at di pa dadahi Pagkat kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan Kaya mo yan, kaya mo yan Kaya mong sumuong sa daluhan Kaya mong harapin ang bawat hamon Kaya mo yan 
I'm still feeling so alone Still feel like a kid and I wonder if it shows God didn't give a gift when I listen to my soul But I feel so unequipped as I'm out here on my own I've been out here getting stoned Haters throwing sticks while I got a bag of bones I can feel a shift and I come with what I know But I fear that I might slip to a story never told There's still so much that I don't know I can feel my treasure that is deeper than the cold But I'm falling for the pleasures that help silence all the woes While surrounded by the pressures making diamonds from the coals I don't ever want to fold But my heart is getting cold I don't know how this unfolds but I'm never gonna choke Cause I'm following my coals Takot na magkamali Magtiwala ka sa iyong sarili Tibayan mo ang iyong dibdi Sadyang maraming hamon sa paligid Huwag mong sayangin ang buhay mo Di ka nag-iisa Sakit sa kapwa mo Makibagay ka At gawin ang wasto I never thought the days and nights were getting harder A very great distance with it only getting farther To hear the immense night more immense without her To try to be a man without learning from a father I have the keys, but I can't stick it in the engine. It's hard to do, but it's so easy to tell them. I've never really shared the problems of my soul. I guess it's a story that I could never unfold. I just really need a hand that I can hold and vent to another person, have it never be told. But that's why life's kind of funny. They took away my dad and they sent away my mommy and prison my other half. Deep inside a chamber, no wonder why the weekends have turned me into Mr. Rager. I ain't stupid, but I ain't passing either. I know the key from only when I'm getting higher. I need an inspiration, and all I want is to inspire. A faraway land resides the woman I desire. The people I looked up to are being frowned upon. Cause I was trying to live life without my glasses on. God wanted to help, I wanted independence. This ain't the path I thought that was intended. I'm standing on a plate, I feel the pressure that's beneath me. I know the wrong step will finally have the muscles. On the next episode of Coke Studio Philippines. Well, I grew up listening to Urban Dog. I guess we all did. We took a stance na dapat kayo yung highlight talaga ng event na to because it's your time. Everybody's a little on edge. Eh. Let's take a two-minute break. You want to try taking it with headphones and then close your eyes. Yeah. When we did that, they just finished the track. have it never being told but that's why life's kind of funny they took away my dad and they sent away my mommy hindi naman nakakulong yung nanay mo no 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 hey guys hope you like the video be sure to check out more coke studio videos here at wag niyo ring kalimutang mag-subscribe 
para sa mga latest updates.